Hello and welcome back everyone to... Wait, why did the music not... Oh, there it goes! We got music! Alright, hello and welcome back everyone to the powder toy. I know, it's been a while. The powder boy is back everyone, don't worry. It's all good. We're here. Today we're going to be looking at the terramorphing project in the powder toy. It looks really cool, so let me quickly spark that. Um, I've been very busy with the kid and job and stuff. I've been thinking about making some more IRL content just because I'm doing so much cool stuff outside of video games. Um, we're going to actually watch as this this is an automatic terra terraforming process. So apparently this will show us when the stages are complete as well, which is really cool. We got the cooling surface stage, and then we have the spreading soil stage. And then we have the atmosphere creation stage, and then the spreading plant stage. Wow. That, that is, that is a lot of stages. We'll do something in the corner while this is going on. Let's make a mothership. Alright, so we're gonna build the bottom of it, and then let's get some glass, because we, we need, we need a nice little dome. This is like a really classic UFO here, okay? This is what I see in my backyard every morning when I look out back when the sun is rising. Oh, did I not tell you guys that there's a UFO that's messing with me lately? It's kind of concerning, actually. Like, they, they, they will not let me be. They keep saying, like, take me to your leader. And then I'm like, okay, you gotta go to uh, the White House. Here we go, my beautiful, beautiful... This may actually be the most beautiful thing I've ever built in this game. Look look at how rotund this saucer is. It's amazing. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and build the actual area where I am. Put a floor in here. And I may be saying, Spike, you? You're flying the spaceship? Yeah, did I not mention that the alien is actually me the whole time? Here we go, make me out of wax. There we go. Wow, look. I'm all hunched over and I have, like, back issues. It's so realistic. I'm a programmer, so that's that's pretty much accurate to my life. There we go. We got, like, a keyboard here. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is going so well. All right, now inside of here, we're just going to need to put the, uh, the fuel, which will be deuterium. And then I don't I don't remember the command, but I wonder if I have it saved. No, uh, I don't I don't remember the command. This is so sad. It's been so long. It's okay. We can just uh, do more. Don't worry. I'm gonna build a brand new type of uh, spaceship warp drive. Watch this. Watch this. All right. At the core of this is going. To oh man, they it's begun spreading. So oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's begun spreading soil. Look at that. That's pretty cool. We're gonna have a tank here, a tank here, and a tank here. It is not even, but that is okay. We'll have the center be filled with a neutron deuterium drive. Don't worry guys, I am qualified. A little bit. There we go. Okay, and then to the sides of this, I'm going to put a, uh, uh, you know, we'll just fill it with exotic matter. That's pretty exotic. There we go. There we go. And then I'm just gonna put some, uh, freeze powder to make sure that I don't melt myself. There we go. Okay, and now the rest of this, we're just gonna fill with colloids. Because colloid gang! Wait, what is the button to fill? I seem to have forgotten the fill button. I'm forgetting the powder toy controls. This is like incredibly sad actually. It's okay, we're just gonna do it by hand. All right, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Emperor Spike is now happily inside of his UFO. Oh God, he still melted. Oh well, whatever. It looks like the, uh, this is actually getting a little hotter than I wanted. Oh my god, okay, I put the dirt down, now it's creating the atmosphere. Um, hopefully, hopefully this doesn't get in the way. The fact that I have a melting down nuclear, uh, catastrophe going on here. Oh no, the glass! <laughs> my UFO! Um, I, I may, I may be getting in the way of 
of the, uh... No, it's fine. Look, there's water on the ground. There's water on the ground. Guys, everything is okay. There is water on the ground. Nothing is... Oh, no! It exploded! My dome! My dome exploded. It's fine. Ready for colonization? Oh, my God, it's dropping plants! Oh, there's plants everywhere! Oh, thank God, it's ready for colonization. Um, the only issue is that we have a nuclear catastrophe, uh, which may or may not uh, ruin the entire process of colonization we just did. Um, hey, how about we try to carefully, carefully uh, fix this problem by dumping out the deuterium. There we go. By dumping out the deuterium, we will protect this world. There we go. We're gonna hit the emergency dump button. Okay. So sure. Now we are leaking deuterium, and we are leaking neutrons, but here's the thing. The UFO is cooling down. Because the UFO is cooling down, everything's gonna be okay. I know. Such a genius. This is kind of full of steam, so I'm gonna build like a little way for the steam to come out too, because I really don't want this to just explode. That would be unfortunate. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at this land we've created. Like, everything was all like orange and, 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 and Mars-like before, and now it's all green. We got plants, we got a steady, uh steady cycle of water going on here. The edges of this world aren't closed, but what we can do is we can literally just change that, and then we can turn off the water creators. I'm gonna turn off one of them. The water cycle should begin. Water will evaporate, go into the air, and rain back down. We got this little, like, underground lake going on here of deuterium, which I'm a little bit concerned about a stray neutron getting into. So I'm just gonna build a little cave. There we go. I'm, I'm gonna let it just go further into the ground. By hiding my problems, I will fix my problems. Right, same thing here, I'm just gonna break this open. Kinda, kinda give the deuterium somewhere to go. All right, I think everything's good. Um, let's see if we can fix my UFO so that we can now leave. I may have died, but I had another body on standby, guys. I mean, I'm the Emperor, right? So, I have 82 bodies ready. Unfortunately, this one didn't have enough time to grow, so it's a little scraggly and made of literally wood, but it's fine. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, oh, geez, the neutrons are not doing good. Oh, I, I caught it. Okay. We're going to close this with titanium um, so that neutrons do not go into my face. There we go. Okay. Oh, geez. Oh, no. I wasn't paying attention. A neutron must have gotten into the deuterium chamber down there. Oh, no. I, I seriously. Oh, no. All the plants are on fire. All the oxygen. Oh, no. Oh god, is anything gonna survive? Oh, all of that terraforming, the billions of dollars. Oh man. That was not good. Now we just have like all these neutrons being shot everywhere. There's a little bit of life left, but I don't know if it's gonna survive after the heat gets over here. On the other side of the planet, it's 120 degrees. It's literally over boiling temperature. Oh no, the oceans are boiling away. And the UFO is really not looking good again. All right, there's only one way to fix this. We're gonna have to slap some, some flex tape onto it. Gold, gold's flashy, gold will work. There we go, okay. Okay, okay. We have the situation under control. We have the, ah! <laughs> It blew, it blew through the gold shielding. Okay, we need something stronger. It's fine. We'll build an even larger shield around it. And then we'll build a titanium shield to hold the pressure in. Great. 
This is no longer looking like a- ah! Okay, the occasional nuclear reactions taking place in this chamber are not a problem. Don't worry about it. Now you may be questioning why I didn't just get rid of the clone that's cloning the deuterium. And the reason is if we turn off the reactor, it's just gonna go cold and then we can't go home. So that's not an option. I'm not just making this up for content. I want to go home, guys. I want to go home. Clearly, we're gonna need to put some insulation so that I don't die. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put some insulation under the floor. Unfortunately, the insulation literally died. You know what? Fine. I've been forced to do it. Don't worry, everyone. I am a Raytheon, and I know how to build a box. Here we go! Box time! Let's go back to having me. I will now be in the prone position, praying that I can get out of here. Okay, or we're gonna lift back off to, to Earth in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three. Oh no, we lost the pressure! <laughs> the energy's gone, and the rest of the plants are burning! You've gotta be kidding me. It happened again. We were at three. We were at three, and it, and it blew. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. There's no other- there's no other choice at this point, guys. There's no other choice. We're- we're gonna fill the entire thing with colloids. Colloid the whole thing. Give me those colloids. The colloids are going to ex absorb all of all of it. They harden in response to physical trauma. All right. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Boy, we did it. We did it. We did it, everyone. We we managed. We managed to escape. <laughs> Good job. We terraformed it. We did it. We saved this planet. Look at. There's water on the ground. We did it. Yay. It's perfectly terraformed. Um, you know what might help is just if we uh, unclog. Unclog. There, there we. There. There we go. And we'll just, uh, get some, uh, uh, LN2 and just weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee